Hello friends, welcome back to the new video of React Native. So today we are going to solve one of the issue in React Native. So here I'm getting the issue possible unhandled section element type invalid expected a string built in components or a class function. So today we are going to solve this issue. So what does it mean? Like uh, this says that the type is invalid expected a string or built-in components that means that whatever you have added mixed up default and imp named imports that means there is an issue in your imports or there is an issue in your component right so it, it means that one so this this video basically for the react native camera kit which we are going to implement in the later videos in the coming videos but before there are some issues which need to be fixed right so i'm going to fix that issues okay so here this element type is invalid expected a string or a class so first of all what we have to check okay so we will going to tell you in this video so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and hit to like this video if you really like the video right so let's get started so you can see that here it says that the expected a string and if there is an issue with the mixed up default and the name imports right so here is my code here we have a camera kit uh, camera kit camera screen right so here we have the import the same one right if i go and check the react native camera kit it has camera camera screen and the camera type and the camera api and the camera kit these are the default ex export default and what we are using over here camera kit which is not there right so here we have to use only because this is there in the camera screen so it is should be camera screen for this one camera screen and here it should be whatever we have here that should be the camera screen right if i go and save this one because there is an issue with the component right camera screen and here we go with the this one it is is it there where it is one this one camera screen is there right you can see that this is the property that should be extended okay and we are going to just flush this and add this one where is react native But it says two views with the same name. No, it's only one view. Let me add this one. Now you can see that when I try to open the camera, I need to make the build right now because it's not working at all. So let me run this Android build. And let me connect with the any desk so you can also check that in the coming video what we are going to learn. So here we go with this one. So you can see that React Native Camera Kit we have implemented and this build is done. This is done. Okay. Now I'm going to open a camera and you can see that there is no error. There is no component error or something else. So what we have to check, we always have to check whether we have properly import the parameters, whether you have add the component name correctly. These are the two issues that you need to be figured out, right? So basically you need to check whatever you have done with the imports, right? If it is not exist in your React Native camera, then how you can use it, right? So it's better you can check whatever you are trying to import, it should be there in your modules. Then it, this error will not happen, right? And another one, this was app function. You can also check that whether you have added the export default or not, this one function. This one, the, the where is export default. If it is not added, then again, it will throw the error. So it's, two options that you have check the imports and check the component rendering part if it is both are okay then the issues will not, not, not occur right 
so you can see that the camera is open in the coming video we are going to learn about adding this flash screen camera rotate cancel and record but uh, this capture screenshot in the coming video where we are going to learn how to open the camera using the react native camera kit because this part we, I have missed, I haven't uploaded this video exactly. So for this one, we are going to capture the image part. We are going to capture the barcode scanner. Okay, these two tutorials we are going to learn in the coming videos. So be with me and uh, please do like and share and comment on my video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.